Hi guys, Reaper here. Thanks for tuning in. So it's been a minute, but here I am with another video. I've been doing a lot of stuff in between, being kept very, very busy. Real life in general seems to have been quite demanding lately. So I'm quite happy to be back here uh, putting out another video. We've had a major patch since my last one and a major update, which was the great big uh, rebalance patch. There's been a lot of changes. My favourite ship, the Bellicose Interdictor, has had a major nerf. It's been castrated. It now has only two missile launchers opposed to the four. So I've been thinking what to do. I've got the Bellicose Covert Ops and Bellicose Covert Ops 2. Good DPS, but not a great tank. And I've been flying around uh, with some friends in Nullsec doing some gate camps. I thought I'd revisit the Caracal Sniper. I reviewed it previously as a sniper-based specific ship using its mode. It was useless, and I see a few people flying these and they enjoy it. This is my fitting an idea, and when I was out on a gate camp, I managed to take on a Raven and t permanently tank it, which I thought was amazing. So I've purchased the Dawn skin for this ship, and this is on the main server, not the test server. So I own that skin, and I think it looks really, really cool as you can see. Looking at the traits and attributes on this ship, the Caracal Sniper for every level of advanced missile and torpedo upgrade. Bonus per level, you have a 5% to the medium missile and torpedo velocity and a minus 3% bonus to the medium missile torpedo activation time and a 5% bonus to flight velocity for every level of advanced cruiser command. Makes it quite fast and has an okay range and it does some good DPS. As you can see, this is my brawler fit. I've got no ballistic control in the lows yet I'm putting out a pretty healthy 736 DPS if I swap to medium missiles I can hit out to around 45 kilometers and I'm doing around 520 or 530 DPS so very versatile so if we run through some attributes on this ship you can see cold we have about 15,500 effective hit points we make that hot and you've got 22,880 which is pretty respectable you've got five just over 5,600 shield hit points and then around three and a half closer to 4,000 on the armor and hull you can see here my capacitor shows three minutes 18 seconds however that's with the afterburner running if I shut that off it turns to around four minutes and 15 seconds and that's not taken into account this cap booster which will make me run for another couple of minutes on top of that. Yeah, really, really good and able to run the large booster for a long time. You can see there 6,311 gigajoules of cap capacity, which is yeah pretty astonishing. And I have used that as one of the things for my rigs and uh, taken advantage of it. My scan resolution is 439 mm, nothing fantastic for a cruiser, but I can lock stuff down all the same. And my signature radius is not uh, super low for a cruiser, somewhere sat in the middle. Navigation, considering I've got that 5% bonus to ship velocity per level for advanced spaceship command, I would expect to be a bit faster as I do have those skills very high. However, I'm only moving at base 329 meters per second. So with my afterburner running, I, I'd estimate that to be around 900 meters per second, which again isn't fast. That's kind of cyclone speed really um, so yeah it could be better the high slots i've got uh, torpedo launches here so with the ship skills i have 554 for both i've got the 14.47 kilometer range and they are applying damages to frigs and anything larger pretty much everything very well as long as i've got them webbed and scrammed and they aren't going too fast and you can see my uh, power grid on this ship is Pretty astounding at 1,300. I've got plenty spare, so just about everybody, even with entry level skills, should be able to fit a ship like this. Now, I've got an Imperial Navy medium Nosferatu. I could improve that for a, a Vera Colacas and further improve my cap, but for the insurance points, if I lose the ship, I'd rather keep it cheaper. I've gone for a Caldari Navy Stasis Webifier, again to slow the ships down uh, and apply damage better. And I've got a warp scrambler for tackle to shut off any pesky micro warp drives and a mark 9 hammerhead drone which could be anything i mean it doesn't matter too much it's not the main source of damage again i wish they'd remove that on all ships and just give a bit more dps which would be nice 
Due to the ship's very large size of the capacitor, I've gone with two semiconductor memory cells. Tech 2s, again, keeping prices lower. And I've got the Tech 1 cap control circuit, as they are very expensive when you go into Tech 2 territory at the moment, even still. For the damage rigs, I've gone with a damage bonus amount rig, the Warhead Calefaction. And I've gone with a bay loading accelerator, which is for the activation time adjustment. And I've gone for a Tech 3 shield boost amount rig, which is really helping this large shield booster. As you can see, I'm boosting 1,188 shield, which means I'm boosting the equivalent to what a large shield extender boosts every 24 seconds, which is really quite astounding. Gives the ship a really beastly tank when you factor in your afterburner speeds. I have opted to go for an afterburner, mainly as I can't afford to keep a micro warp drive running and it will massively reduce my tanking time, which is one of the main focuses of the ship, being able to tank a lot of damage and put out a lot of damage at the same time. You can see here I've got two red C-type invulnerability fields, adaptives, and I've got a blue C-type cap battery which is very important as well to keep me running all that extra during a small scale engagement so i've just undocked to check what the maximum afterburner speed is so if i engage here and drag out my maximum speed control you can see there 822 meters per second which isn't super fast but on a gate camp it will put me into range of enemies fast enough to be able to get those torps applying their DPS. And also, just for the benefit of showing you, I've activated now all of my modules. I do not have my uh, medium Nosferatu running, as in all PvP situations, you might not know whether your opponent's going to have a higher or lower cap to you. And for my Nosferatu to be working effectively, my target needs to have more capacity than I do. Whilst these modules are running, I'll just go into the ship tree and show you what the Tech Level 10 equivalent of the ship, or what I would say is the equivalent of the ship, looks like the Caracal 2. This is more like an assault cruiser of some kind with the damage control active or bonus time of five seconds, similar to the assault destroyers. And the other noticeable difference, or the only noticeable difference other than that, is the minus 6% bonus to the medium missile and torpedo activation time which is double to the uh, minus three percent you'll find on the caracal sniper so i estimate the dps on this should be quite high i'd imagine around 850 maybe even 900 dps that is yeah quite astounding fortunately i can't use my nice dawn skin that i spent a lot of this buying <laughs> uh, which is a bit of a pain but if you go down to the attributes you can see that the base shield on this ship is 5800 which is similar to my Caracal Snipers, but that's not factoring in skills. So I would imagine that would go to around seven and a half, maybe 8,000. So yeah, really impressed with this ship. Hopefully you like this build. And just to show you um, for the purpose of the insurance points, if you're using this for PVP, it's only going to be costing you for the IP 691 with this particular fitting which isn't too bad. And just to show you, here's me taking on a Raven at a gate camp. So we'd been engaging this Raven on a gate camp. He's kind of triple extender or double extender fit. He was tanking like an absolute monster, took out one of our ships. As you can see, there's a pod there and he swapped aggro to me. I thought I was going to quite quickly and swiftly be taken out and uh, put to rest as I know what the Raven's capable of. I fly them myself. And yeah, I managed to permanently tank it. So yeah, really like the ship. I hope you've enjoyed watching this fitting guide and this build in particular. Thanks for watching.